lot of wind. I have caught them on the hand line in this current down deep. Let's bring it up and give it a shot. We got one, fellas. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh man, he came off. He slimed the line. It was a catfish too, so. Um. Three ounce weight. Spinner rig, whatever we're calling that stupid thing. Whatever Colorado rig, whatever with the and I had this tip with a with a night crawler. Yeah, I started fishing these hand lines uh, a few years ago. Uh, bought a couple of plastic ones from off eBay and it was just, you know, but I knew that what was catching the fish for me was the line, the hook, and the bait, right? Of course, wait to get it down and things, but uh, um, and so I s sort of went back to the roots, you know, and just said, no, you know, I do use artificials, but the artificials are there to attract the fish, the bait's there to make them bite. I like these in the summertime. When it's hot, the fish have gone deep in the river, and I drift these down the river slowly, just like my jug lines. But this reel I've had for a long time now, it's was due in for service, you know, so I sanded it, made a, put a couple of more coats of varnish on it. I do that once every couple of years and you know, pretty much like new. I, mean, I built these to last a lifetime, really. I don't, I don't plan on having to build another one. And that's why people buy them from me. But fishing them, just drifting. Drifting, drifting, and trolling. That's about the only way I care to fish with these. Winter, early spring blue. Treble hook, corner of the mouth. Got my pliers. The bite's been surprisingly good. This little rig works. <laughs> this is one of the oldest artificial lures known to mankind. A lot of trout fishermen use them out west. And Using them to catch blue catfish down south. <laughs> uh, the yellow and red are working well today. <laughs> the white and red are the ones I prefer to use this time of year, but I just don't have any made up. But 25 pound test main line, so plenty of protection for my hands. So the fish are moving. The fish are moving and they're down deep. Uh, at least the the blues are moving. Good tip. Slit their, slit their gills and let them bleed out. They'll, they're more humane and it'll make for better meat when it, when it comes to eat, but I don't want to put that on camera. Just, just slit their gills. 
It's, it's the most humane thing you can do.